All right, who broke it? I'm not mad, I just want to know. I broke it. No, you didn't. Well, Elena was the last one to use it. What? You I didn't even use that camera. What are you no, talking it, about? I saw you use it last. It wasn't me. It was nobody. What are you talking about? It was actually me that broke it. I just want to see how quick they'd be at each other's throats. About 15 more minutes, they'll probably have more pain. Hello, Brownsburg High School. Thanks for watching BHS TV. Today is Wednesday, November 9th. I'm Court Thornberry. And I'm David Bender. And here's what's going on at BHS. Mr. Bulldog is returning this year, and the competition will be held on Thursday, November 17th at 7 p.m. in the BHS Auditorium. Tickets are on sale now and are $10 each. Seating is general admission, and the only way to purchase tickets is by using the QR code that is currently on the screen right now. Wow. You don't want to miss this one-of-a-kind one talent show, featuring BHS juniors and seniors, so get your tickets soon. The BHS Fringe Club will be meeting on Thursday, November 17th at 3 p.m. in room B1404. Please see Madame Pardue for further information. The Best Buddies Club is hosting a Dine to Donate at Noble Romans on Wednesday, November 16th from 5 to 9 p.m. All you have to do is show this flyer at checkout or tell them you're supporting BHS Best Buddies. And a portion of your sale will be donated to the club. Don't forget to head to Noble Romans on the 16th. The BHS Journalism Club meets on Tuesdays after school in B2408 until 4 p.m. No experience is necessary and anyone is welcome. They'd love to have some more people join and try it out. The BHS Food Drive is happening now through Monday, November 14th. Everything will be donated to the BCSC Food and Clothing Pantry. Bring your items to your first period, and the class with the most items will win Dega Cookie Coupon. Environmental Club is showing a play on the environment. The play is called Your Planet, Your Future, and focuses on climate change and how to better the environment around you. This is taking place on November 17th at 315 in Mrs. Moeller's room, B2428. Admission is free, and while attending, you will receive a raffle ticket. Additional tickets will be for $4. Win cool prizes with your raffle tickets. There will also be popcorn for $1 and drinks for $2. They are looking forward to seeing you there. Seniors, this Thursday, November 10th, BHS will be hosting a FAFSA night in which financial aid experts from InvestEd will be here to assist seniors and families in filling the 2023-2024 FAFSA. Families may come in any time, 3.30 and 7.30 p.m. for assistance. It will take place in the Senior Academy cafeteria and entrance is through door 12 of the Senior Academy. This is not a presentation, but rather a time to receive help on completing the FAFSA. The students of Mr. Gregg's math classes have finished designing this year's WWMGD shirts. If you are interested in purchasing a worldwide Mr. Gregg Day shirt, please stop by Mr. Gregg's room A2414 to order your shirt. Shirts orders will close this Friday at 2.50 p.m. The Spanish Club's next meeting will be on Thursday, November 17th, after school until 3.45. That meeting will take place in Mr. Sloan's room. Please see Senor Sloan for more information. November is very important to those who fell victim to domestic violence. BHS TV's Ben Walsh has some more information for us. November is Domestic Violence Awareness Month. And domestic violence is a very serious thing. It can happen to anybody at any age, no matter sexuality or gender identity. But some may be asking, what is domestic violence and where can you go to be safe from it and who can you talk to? Well, we asked Mrs. Mayo, student counselor, just these questions and a few more. So domestic violence um, is any um, act where someone may feel as though that they have been physically or verbally, mentally harmed in any way, um, and they feel as though that they need to reach out and get help. One in three women and one in four men have experienced some form of physical violence at the hand of an intimate partner. This includes a range of behaviors such as slapping, shoving, and even verbal abuses, and in some cases, these might not be considered domestic violence by legal standards. One in 25 men and one in seven women have been injured by an intimate partner. However, women ages from 18 to 34 generally experience the highest rates of violence from a partner. One in 15 children are exposed to domestic violence and at least 90% of these children directly witness this violence. 
So anyone who feels as though they are a victim of domestic violence can reach out to um, a counselor or a resource officer here in school. Um, any adult really is there to help them and support them um, and get the resources that they need to get the help and support that they need to move forward in a healthy manner. If you are currently experiencing abuse in a relationship, please consider calling the number on the screen or talking to a trusted adult. The Domestic Violence Hotline has a 24-7 service in over 140 different languages, in case English isn't your first. They also have a text message service, which can also be found on the screen. Remember, it's always okay to speak out or tell somebody you trust. You matter. Ben Walsh, BHS TV. Our hearts go out to those who have experienced domestic violence. Now it's time for sports. Hey Christian, what do you have for us today? Hey guys, BHS Winter Athletics are continuing to ramp up, but we've got an exciting week ahead. Let's get things started with the girls basketball team who hosted Plainfield last night. The Barcy had a great showing and earned a huge 64-35 win over the Quakers. Avery Gordon led the dogs with 16 points, 11 rebounds, and 6 blocks. Emma Hendricks also had a nice night with a double-double that included 11 points and 11 rebounds. Kaylin Terrell had 11 points and 4 steals, and Paige Kurtz added 7 points and 7 rebounds. Nice job, ladies. The JV was also dominant in their win over Plainfield, holding the Quakers to only 3 points and earning a 42-3 victory. Haley Sauter led the Dogs with 10 points, and Husai Diallo was the leading rebounder. The entire team played a great defense. And the freshmen made it a clean sweep on the night, defeating Burbuff 54-16. Becca Rogers had 16 points, and Brenna Walters had 11. Ella McCulloch and Lauren Caperton each had nine. All three teams will travel to Ben Davis this Saturday. Good luck. The Dogs football team will be at home this Friday night in the regional against Cathedral. Don't forget, no passes are accepted for ISHA tournament events. Tickets are $10 and can be purchased online. Just head over to the Athletics Department social media for the link, at BHS Dogs on Twitter and Brownsburg Athletics on Instagram. Tickets will be going fast, so be sure to get yours soon. Here's a look at the remaining teams in the 6A regional bracket. On the north side, Lafayette Jeff will take on Carroll, and Hamilton Southeastern will take on Westfield. On the south side, the Dogs will take on Cathedral, and Warren Central will take on Center Grove. Boys basketball, swimming and diving, and wrestling will all get underway very soon. We'll keep you updated right here on BHS TV as that time gets closer. The spirit theme for this Friday is Purple Out. And that's it for sports today. Back over to you. Thanks, Christian. That's all we've got for you today, BHS. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, and we will see you on Friday.